What's up, Kiki Gang? <laughs> Welcome to my channel if you are a returning subscriber. What a do, baby! And if you're new here, hi, my name is McKenna. Please subscribe, dog. Please just subscribe at this point. Guys, I was so skeptical about doing this video. I'm eating, by the way, so this is like a mini mukbang. I'm having a breakfast muffin at this time, I know, with um, robust tea. Is it robust or chamomile? With Roy Boy's tea. So I'm eating. So there's gonna be a lot of if you don't like watching people eat or whatever, uh dog click out of the video. I don't wanna see that in the comments. But basically, as you've read from the title below, the reason you've even clicked into this video is because of the amazing thumbnail and the title. You are intrigued, you want to know who the if is she talking about? <laughs> the fakest friend ever, the most plastic synthetic guys. She has nothing on China more. She has nothing on China more. Listen to what I'm saying. That's how fake she is, my brother. What? Okay. So, I've been skeptical about doing this, as I've said, because I just, I just don't, I just don't want to start drama. I don't care, because I also like a little bit of drama. I don't care. And we're not talking, so... The fact that we're not talking kind of makes it better because like i've been wanting to do stories on i feel like if you're friends with the youtuber just know that anything you guys do could turn into content like that anything good or bad and she knows this it's my first day at res my first day at res this is where the red flag should have been because it's my first day at res i came in a bit later than the other girls right so some of them already kind of know each other. I came in like three days late and shit during a week. So, cool. When I enter, this girl, the one we're talking about, let's give her a name. Let's call her. Let's call her Tivinki. Ne? Tivinki. Tivinki. People who are not African. Well, not African, but like people don't speak the name. Tivinki means someone who thinks they know, but they don't know. They know a lot so you call him tibinki because they think they know but they don't know me i know okay so tibinki is like she makes a comment on the couch like oh that girl's a youtuber but she's always other girls and i'm just like well i wasn't actually i wasn't like that when i heard that i was like Ugh. i did cringe a bit i think you guys saw even in the vlog i'm like mm, you know because you know when you live with people you kind of want it you want them to first get to know you and then know what you do because now when they know what you do it's like they're gonna expect the drama and it's like i don't have the drama the drama ends on your screen so she said that so that should have been the first red flag they're like okay first of all you're already judging me from shit you see online you know you're not you you you, you don't know me yet cool okay and then time moves on shit happens me and divinki grow closer together now divinki and i like we're pretty i'm not gonna lie i am prettier i feel like that's so pretty to say i'm very much yeah okay we're pretty now mind you so we start looking for jobs that hire pretty hands so like hosting and whatever you know we just tell each other into that that like bro we need a job we need money blah 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 cool we just ourselves into that and then we end up finding work and it's like good job pays well everything seems you know, everything that they're putting in front of us is like, oh my gosh, this is how much I make a night. What? Let's go. You know? So, we just each other into that. Now, Tivinki and I are growing closer because now every night, well, not every night, but every weekend, we're working, you know, whatever. We're doing that. So, cool. Her and I get close. And then she starts dating. Did she start dating before or after? I think she started dating before we got the work. It was a dream maybe during when we started working as like hostesses and stuff you know that's when she got i wasn't even like a hostess like that because i was just like there to post content for the place i had to take a video that is all but like yeah 
and she actually wasn't working how did i think of it she was just there sorry she was just there to morally support me because she, but she wanted to she wanted to be a bottle girl but then i was like hmm, you know these bottle girls they, they make them win nothing and then you know there's just drama and then like maybe we should ask and then we asked in the bottom one of these bottle girls and then they were like they hate their job blah, blah, blah. so then ever since she was like nah you know i'll look for something else that fits me blah blah, blah fits her personality because she's just been hearing bad stuff about bottle girls okay so Tavinki and i are working now you know we're, we're not really working but like i'm working and she's there for moral support so we're going to use we're going to this club dog we're making money or well, i'm making money cool and we basically grow closer because we're working we're working late together you know whenever she gets a new she starts dating i was gonna say she gets a new boyfriend but she starts dating and she did she dates this guy and i mean i didn't know the guy i well whatever makes you happy i didn't care that much about her relationship because i didn't like it's not my place my place is just to be there for you as a friend i just be like some people who involve themselves in their friends relationships i mean come on guys really how old are we so i didn't care much it was just a matter of like okay i'm happy for you enjoy but now listen to this but now she's starting to feel like work makes her uncomfortable and if you've been a hostess or whatever you know the vibes it's making her uncomfortable because of a relationship right and i'm like but your boyfriend doesn't care and she's getting hit on by like people who are you know i don't want to name drop but you're dating in the industry marrying in the industry mm -mm. you're playing with fire my sister and if you ever see me marry anybody in the industry please don't judge me um Nami it's a it's a nipi that i'm willing to you know it's a fight that i'm willing to to go to war for and like conquer but yeah, the women who are dating people in the industry, guys, we know your wives. We know your wives. Guys, the things we've seen. Oh, the things we see. Mm. Mm. So she was getting hit on by like people of people who are people, people who are somebody's, you know, in this country, not even in Africa at this point. Because this other guy, I'm not going to name drop, but he's like, he's South African, but. He's old money, bro. He's old money. All I'm going to say is, Shine that bella po. Hmm? If you know, you know. If you don't know, I thought we're not friends anymore. So I don't even know why you're watching my video if you end up watching this. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> but yeah. So she's getting hit on by like proper people, right? So now she's obviously starting to feel bad because, like, you know, she's in a new relationship. And I think that's her first relationship. She's never been in a relationship before. So this is like, you know, we kind of grew closer because I was trying to advise her, like, no, bro, like, it doesn't matter. All that matters is what you do. Because, like, people are always going to hit on you, bro, because you like, you're pretty. But, like, how you react, like, if you entertain that, then you have an issue. But if you don't entertain it, then you're good. Okay. That shit happened. Mind you, now, Tibinki and I are, like, super close. Even the people in the house think we're besties like his her boyfriend thought we were besties like those are the vibes right okay okay cool and then what happens oh we stop working on we decide we need to focus on school right so we stop focusing on school and we stop working and then mind you I'm living in like a flat, right? Where there's like eight of us. Everybody has their own bedroom. We just share a lounge and a kitchen and the bathroom. But we're, we're good. There's not one bathroom, guys. There's it's a huge bath. It's a huge bathroom. It's not huge, but like it's a huge bathroom. So yeah, it's enough for eight people. We don't step on each other's toes. Before you guys think I'm living in the ghetto. No, I'm not living in the ghetto. But yeah. So mind you now, there's eight of us here. So Binky and I are like growing closer and whatever. Okay, cool. But I've been called the other girls. She's been called the other girls. But we used to all go out together. Now, I'd say out of the eight, like maybe five of us would always go out together. But then when Zibinki and I started working, we kind of like they were focusing on school. And then when we were focusing on school, they were like going out. So the world's never balanced. We never had time for each other anymore. So it looked like Zibinki and I were always like 
being the two whatever and they were left out mind you okay cool i've never said i don't like these girls or anything like that like like it's just been a matter of working everybody's been cool she's never said the same thing like it's never been a division or they've also they've also always known that we're working cool this is going to be important because you know what happens when shit goes out some of them end up siding with Tabinki. and then when i ask oh so this is what's happening so this is what's happening they're like no we just thought you never liked us you thought you thought why don't you ask because i feel like i'm the type of person you see like to now she knows i don't like her she knows i don't like her she can see it like me when i don't like you i don't need to pretend with you i don't pretend that i don't pretend if i don't like you i don't need to put up with you why the fuck would i put up with you cool so like before i get there before i get there i'm i'm skipping part now okay so now didn't get focusing on schoolwork right the other girls are going out her and i focusing on school because we've been okay this one time this one time one weekend we both don't have school work we both bro like my mentor who knows who he is he's my mentor actually from the varsity um invites me to a party and he's like bro um there's a 90s theme party happening mind you this is in winter there's a 90s theme party happening vibes are you down and i'm like yes let's go you could sense that books have been chowing me time for me to chow you know life at this point so he invites us to this party and we're so excited bro like 90s theme time we just like i don't have any clothes here she doesn't have any clothes here we're trying to mix outfits together see what we have we end up going to her boyfriend's because he's like that's his aesthetic like baggy vibe we go to her boyfriend's house we get clothes we come back it was we were so excited to do our makeup and everything we go to this party cool the party this is the main event this is the party that like found the cracks in the friendship or in her friendship with mine because i still feel like what the fuck i'm from joburg bro like a lot of shit doesn't i feel like you when you when you're in varsity and you're from a city that's like popping you should let that be known because a lot of people are so naive because the life moves so fast in joburg that things don't scare me when somebody gets spiked when somebody dies at a party when there's cops when there's guns like you guys saw my story times guys i've lived i'm living like things don't scare me things that would scare people who maybe it's their first time going out or whatever they come from the bundus it'll scare them me i've seen it so mind you nah mind you that like i just feel like a lot of things are just not that deep you know what i mean cool so we go to this party we get there our dog like his vibes um you pay to get in which was really it wasn't that bad you just pay to get in and then there's an open bar that's the nice thing because i think you paid like 120 400 rand i don't know to get in and then there's an open bar literally you just free everything's free so we get our drinks and whatever okay cool red cups vibes babe we go sit down mind you with my mentor my mentor and his friends and it's like at school she looks good i look good you know like it's just vibes and that's i believe that she got spiked at this party right she doesn't know where she got spiked because um yeah to her the night is a blur she doesn't remember some things she only remembers specific things that are convenient for her to remember but it's like mm. anyways she remembers what she wants to remember me i was sober-minded i remember everything but yeah so she's busy leaving her cup and mind you now i've always known that tibinki is new to a lot of things because me i've done so much stuff from high school already tibinki is new to a lot of things so like things like leaving her cup unattended bro like she does that you know like so i'm busy telling her no dog carry your cup oh and you go to the bottom dog stop leaving your cup like i'm holding her cup stuff like that so she's being irresponsible with her cup mind you at a house party cool house party pool party vibes like that vibe 90s theme it was um, it was really fun though i'm not gonna lie cool were there dog i don't know she, at some point she was even drinking my mentor's drink like she was just mixing like mixing up her cups and stuff that's why i think she got like um spiked there because at all the other places that we've been at everybody like was drinking out of their own bottles and stuff there were no cups we didn't have to go pour you know glasses mm -hmm. so we go to the bathroom we do all that stuff bro at the party okay she's lit you know girls are hitting on her dog even hands were hitting on her okay one hand hit on me let me not make it seem like how oh, sham poor girl no yeah everyone was hitting on everyone this one couple hit on me yeah Yeah. 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 
Kylie is gone. Where is the Kylie Brenner guys? Literally, just one couple hit on me. And yeah, we're just laughing and everything. We were just laughing and everything. People moving. We had a second location to go to and a third location that night. Yeah? Cool. It's like, oh, this was fun, blah, blah, blah. We had to go to a second location because our friends, well, my friends, already at the second location. Cool. We go to the second location. Right? From this house party, we go to TSC, social club. Now, we get there. Dog, TSC is packed. Me, I don't like TSC. Don't invite me to TSC. Like, my brother, I beg. Don't invite me to TSC. I've never had fun when I've been there. I went there once with my friends and then I went again with this girl that almost died whatever that was acting out cool so don't invite me to TSC we go there okay she still looks fine or whatever we go to the bathroom blah chill for 20 minutes then we go to block when we get to block think about block like when you go inside okay it's dark but then when you come outside there's like lights that like shine in your face so you can kind of see now this girl's acting weird she's busy burping everywhere like Tibinki's going you know and even like my friends are like oh my gosh what's wrong with you um please don't vomit if you're gonna vomit like vomit that way because like there's a table there's a table all the drinks are on the table because if you vomit like this we all gonna have vomit over us she's like no i'm not gonna vomit i'm not gonna vomit so actually i want to go home i want to go home like she's not even saying it like that bro she's shouting she's like i want to go home like banging the table and i'm just looking at her like bro i've been out with you so many times this is how you're behaving what is this which one is this one and then I'm looking at her and I see that her eyes are like doing this. Like her eyes were literally like bro spiraling, right? I bro, there's video evidence, there's bro, things just got taken out of hand. So her eyes are doing that thing that they're doing. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna go home. Okay, cool, you wanna go home, but like why are you being dramatic? And she's not the type to wanna go home. I think out of everyone i'm the one that normally dies first i'm the diehard not the she's the diehard i'm the weakling so i was just shocked so when i see her eyes i'm like yo something's wrong with her like she looks she doesn't look normal like her eyes are so weird because you know when somebody looks drunk like even her tongue like when she was talking it's it's like it's like her tongue was heavy or something like she she sounded weird like her words were slurred so i'm like bro you've, been, you've never been this drunk what the fuck is this cool i'm like you know what let's go home it's fine i tell my friends guys please cut us to please cap us to campus right okay they cap us to campus while we're walking she wants to take the the gate here which is the furthest gate the south gate the south whatever east south west i don't know what but it's south something gate the furthest gate from where we live and i'm telling her bro this gate is too far like because it's good we're gonna literally gonna walk through campus when we don't have to we could use that gate and then like you know we, we're at rest no She's shouting at me now. She's like, you don't even care about safety. You know, she's fighting. She's swearing, bro. She's being handsy. Mind you, man. Tibinki is not a very confrontational person. She's just zen. So now I'm shocked. Like, oh, why are you being like, She's like, give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. She wants a phone. She wants a student card. Like, I had pockets on me. So I was the one holding her stuff. And she's just grabbing her things, bro. She's taking them. Like, even my friends are like, no, just like, make sure she gets home safely. She's like, yeah, something is off. And I'm like, at this point something is off but i never thought okay maybe you got spiked nope we go into this entrance that she wants to use which is the long way i thought she's busy shouting at me about safety you don't even care about safety blah, 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 blah. and i'm like it's not even about safety bro it's a matter of like we're still going to be safe because we're still going to be in campus but you you're making us walk for no reason i don't like walking cool we're arguing back and forth and then she starts doing that burping thing again like when we're by the turtles she's still doing that burping thing again i'm like oh my gosh ben i love you so much but literally if you're gonna vomit can you please vomit the other way because she's facing me and then she starts shouting at me do you know the difference between vomiting and burping you're so dumb she called me stupid bro she puts like her hands on my forehead and i'm just looking at her like who the fuck does this girl think she is what what who, who do you think you are who do you think you are you know like like at first it was funny and then she just kept going and i'm like uh uh guys up on my camera like what is this bro i was so scared because you wanna fight on to i thought it was gonna go down to okay so she's busy shouting at me telling me i'm dumb because i don't know the difference between burping and me from what i know when people think they're gonna burp that's in their vomit 
and you keep shouting at me yay mm. oh you keep shouting at me it's fine i don't care I, i'm just at this point i'm just like bro i've never seen you this late blah blah, blah. i'm telling you like you dog you never been this late before like what's happening are you blah, blah, blah. It's like no you just damn blah, blah, blah so i'm not like at this point bro you're becoming very and that's not you you know to think that class on you so i pull out my phone pull out my phone and then i take a video mind you Tibinki and I have been going out weeks now. Weeks going out, weeks going to work. We always take videos of each other. Bro, there's literally events everywhere. We both had we both had created fences just for that. Like they were full her fence that was full of me and like all the stuff that we did and my fence that was full of her and all the stuff that we were doing, like all the all that crazy stuff. So me taking a video of her is nothing new or dramatic, whatever cool so that happens right i take out my phone and i take a video because i'm like at this point you're acting so crazy there's no way that you're gonna believe me in the morning when i tell you all the stuff that you've done and i'm literally telling her like you'll hear it in the video you'll literally hear it in the video i'll insert the clip in the video um i tell her that like no you're not gonna believe this oh my gosh you're literally tripping out this is so crazy blah blah, blah. i'm gonna show you in the morning so i'm taking a video to show it in the morning I'm not taking a video to post embarrassing. I'm not the type of person. Ah, come on. Come on. I'm taking a video to show in the morning. And I'm even saying it to her multiple times. That no, you're not going to believe this. Oh my gosh, you're acting so crazy. Because I knew she wasn't going to believe me. Because every time we do crazy shit, we just always deny in the morning. So I wanted evidence. Cool. That's fine. That's normal. We always do that. I take my phone. And now she starts like, you're taking a video of me. So mind you, she's been shouting at me about the burping thing. Calling me stupid and calling me names that I don't know the difference between burping and vomiting and 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 so then when i take out my phone and i'm like oh my gosh you won't believe this you're literally shouting at me over burping and vomiting like what the hell like because she's been and we still have it's a long walk to where we live we're on campus so that's been happening during the whole the whole long walk i'm shouting at me so now we're at this parking lot and she's still going off so i take out my phone and i take a video and you know what this girl does you're seeing a video why are you taking a video of me blah 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 blah, blah. you did she not take my phone and throw it back? Bro, she didn't even look. She just... Sorry, when I thought I threw it back, I was just like... But yeah, she took my phone out of my hand and threw it back like this. She didn't even look to see where it landed. I'm like here and this is her. Like, I'm Tibinki. And like, she grabs my phone and she throws it back. But I see how far my phone fl like flies. I literally ran. I was like, oh my gosh, Tibinki, are you crazy? I ran to go get my phone, bro. And when I checked, yo, my phone just has glass. The cover has like glasses in it. I don't know if there was glass on that floor of the parking lot or if it's glass from the screen that broke, but there was just glass everywhere. Like you couldn't even hold the screen, especially the corners. You couldn't hold the screen um, by the corners or the cover by the corners because there were pieces like standing up of glass. And now I'm pissed because don't come for my phone. Oh yeah, don't you dare. Don't you dare. I mean, go on, go on, go on. Go, go, go. I'm going to show you this in the go. morning and you're going to no, be so funny. don't take me. <laughs> touch everything, don't touch my phone. That's literally how much I care about my phone because this is work. My phone is like my office, my everything. So when she did that, I became really pissed. It's like at this point, I don't care how lit you are. And yeah, like I don't care. And then I call my man's. I'm like, bro. This person's doing one, two, three, and she just threw my phone on the floor. Cause now I don't even feel safe around you because you've been being aggressive, you've been putting your hands on me, and now you just threw my phone, which is something that I never thought you'd ever do. Cool. My man's like, no, maybe, maybe she got spiked, and then I like tell him everything that I saw with her eyes and whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, she definitely got spiked if she's behaving the way that you're behaving, that you're saying she's behaving. Cool. Now I'm like panicking because my mom's like, oh, she might be a danger to you as well because at this point she might feel as though, you know, like, I don't know. But like, basically, I might be in trouble because of the way she's behaving. If she's acting on her character, she might end up hurting me. And I'm like, ah, me, if somebody puts their hands on me, I'm throwing hands back. I know how to throw hands. I have hands. I have hands. I will throw. Me, you don't even need to go ask. Come, you'll see yourself. Like, I'm not, guys. I know I've grown up, you know, I'm sure all my friends from high school and primary are looking at me like, how oh, girl, we thought you changed. You know, I've grown up, like, I'm more mature. But if somebody's going to throw hands at me, I'm not going to sit back and take it like I don't know how to throw hands. Yo, 
Io, rather we go, rather we go, dog. So, like, I was like, no, if she throws hands, I'm, I'm throwing hands. I don't care if, like, she's acting out of character or whatever. I must let her, I must let her put her hands on me? What? My mother would be so disappointed. She didn't raise a loser. What the hell? So, yeah. I was like, no, no. And my, friend, my, my boyfriend was like, no, if you, if you, um, if it gets to that point, then it's going to be dangerous because she might wake up and not even remember anything that happened. And it might be like, he said, she said, you know, blah, 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 blah. So at this point, I asked my boyfriend, bro, please stay on this call until we get home because it's a long, it's a long walk to freedom because somebody was being stubborn. And now I'm not even talking to her. I'm literally just talking to my boyfriend on the phone. And I'm like, I'm going to leave you here because you just threw my phone on the floor for no reason. And I was really upset. I was really upset over my phone. So I said, like, oh, I'm going to leave you here. And I start walking. Then, I don't know what she said, but she said, like, something. And then now she starts crying. And then she walks off, like, in front of me. Like, she just walks off in front of me. And at this point, I'm like, good. If you're picking up the pace, it means we're going to get home faster. And I'm going to get to sleep and not have to deal with this. Because not my fucking phone. Not my phone. So, we get to where She's still shouting at me when we get to the gate. She's shouting at me. And then, mind you, she doesn't, I didn't even know that she doesn't like my boyfriend that much. I don't even know why she cares. But she has her own issues with my boyfriend. So she was like, um, why are you even calling your boyfriend? You know I don't like him, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just being like, mm, time is on the phone. I'm like, awkward. Okay, so you're saying all the stuff that you don't like about him. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? He's listening, by the way, but like, continue. Dog, she's shouting, she's shouting, she's shouting. We get to her room, right? And I go in with her. And I'm just there, like, trying to make sure she's okay. So I tell my boyfriend that, like, bro, like, we're in her room, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, okay, just try to open her window so there can be some circulation. Because our rooms get really hot. So I'm like, okay, may I please open your window? Oh, she shouted at me. Ah. Like, she literally, like, was like, yeah, my window. Like, bro, and I'm in her room. She could throw me against the fridge, throw me against everything. And, like, I'm in her room. Why am I in her room? So I'm just like, oh, my God, I'm just getting, like, really stressed because... I'm trying to help you so that you know you don't die in here because we don't know what you took or what was given to you or at this point what is happening with you in your head but you're just trying to help I get Zibinki one of Zibinki and I's friend who's closer to Zibinki more than she is to me wakes up it's 2 a.m. mind you it's 2 a.m. she wakes up to go pee me I finish this girl let's call her Pepper because I've been wanting to call someone Pepper I fetch Pepper. I'm like, Pepper, do you think he's acting weird? And I don't know what to do. And I'm scared that blah, 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 blah. Pepper's like, oh my gosh, she lying, blah, blah, blah. Now we're in Pepper's room. I'm showing Pepper the video that like, yeah, look what she did to my phone. I show her my phone first, dog it has glasses and stuff. And I show her the video. And then she's like, yo, no, blah, blah, But she's, if she's acting on a character, blah, blah. And I'm like to Pepper, just go try and open a window. And Pepper doesn't even like, she doesn't even get a chance to. Because at this point, think is not having it with any of us. She's not having it with any of us. And now she's shouting at me about talking to my boyfriend, right? Before I left her, she's shouting at me about talking to my boyfriend while I'm talking to her at the same time. She's shouting at me about that whole phone thing. She's shouting at me, the video thing. She's shouting at me, bro. She was about the the vomiting thing. She sh she's just shouting at me about a lot of things. And then, you know what I say? I'm like, maybe because Pepper has um, um, Zivinki's boyfriend's number. So I'm like, maybe call the boyfriend because the boyfriend's head is like thinking normally and he can calm me and talk you down because i don't want to be in your room anymore i want to leave because at this point like what a fucky you know cool she's like no i don't even trust him let's call him <sighs> let's call him burger she's like no i don't even trust burger you know i don't trust anyone blah blah, blah. even when i call him you know like, bro she's shouting at me now because i wanted to call her boyfriend Yo, she's kibarin thav now about how she feels about her boyfriend and I'm just there like oh 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 okay mm, also that mm, I'm just listening to all that she was saying about that man that boy that guy mm -hmm. so like I'm just like and then I told Pepper I'm like dog she was saying this 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 and then Pepper was like no ah, yo I at this point I don't know what to do blah 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 Pepper called the Jane the Jane said I'll call her and then I don't know what happened me yeah, I went to bed ah okay fine in the morning she comes to my room to ask me what happened last night i'm literally laughing like yeah i knew you wouldn't remember hence i took the video the video that she threw my phone for because i knew you wouldn't remember what happened because you were acting crazy 
you were asking because i'm like no let me show you the video she doesn't want to see the video she's like no oh my god i'm so embarrassed and basically she felt super embarrassed now this is the normal tibinki right tibinki is very reserved tibinki is shy tibinki is to herself so now she's like obviously like feeling ashamed because like oh did i do that was i calling you names oh my gosh i put my hands on you like i'm so sorry you know it's not that thing blah, blah, blah. and i'm just like bro i literally don't care I, I, at this point i just don't care like it happened it happened yeah we can do a story some about it one day it's fine it's like oh, oh my gosh um i don't even want to see that video it's so embarrassing please delete the video blah 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 cool i delete the video at that point i didn't even care i deleted the video cool i deleted the video delete if you're an iphone user you know you have to delete a v you have to delete and permanently delete me i just deleted first step didn't care just gone because why cool now i tell her that dog is and he broke my phone i think i showed him my phone it's like oh my gosh i'm so sorry blah 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 so i tell her you know what i'll try to get my parents to fix my phone but if they literally don't agree to fix it then you and i are going to need to come up with the money to fix my phone and if you're an iphone user you know it's very expensive to get your phone fixed especially if your screen screen like your original screen is fucked so she fucked up my screen screen time i have a glass protector bro all that shit was just a mess it was just a mess so she fucked up my screen screen she's like nah no problem hopefully they agree but otherwise like we'll sort it out blah 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 mind you she agrees right i tell her that there's a 50 50 chance that they're not gonna agree to fix it because if you know me you know that my phone is my life you know that my phone is my life kids don't touch my phone at all so that's my chat with her like my parents might not buy it because they know my phone's my life why would i break my own phone am i dumb so cool I don't know if it was weeks that passed or a week. I don't know how long it, it's been. But she was acting weird. You know, she was going through her own thing. She was feeling embarrassed. She didn't want the other girls to know. She literally told me, she's like, oh my gosh, can you please not let them know? Just tell them that I was by. This is so embarrassing. Don't tell anyone. And I'm like, oh, I already told Pippa. I don't know if you remember Pippa being in your room as well. But like, I already told her what happened. Why is Lali screaming, bro? It's just me and her here and she's screaming. But yeah, I'm like, oh, I already told Pippa so and she's like oh it's it okay people knows but i hope nobody else knows blah blah and can we please like because they're gonna gossip blah blah she doesn't want the other girls to gossip about her and i feel like at this point nobody really cares like that but okay cool like, it's not my place to tell people your business i don't care cool she starts acting weird you know she's staying in her room whatever and i'm just like bro we can move past this like it's not a big deal but she's acting weird now she's like disassociating herself slowly right so as time goes by my phone starts cracking no actually it wasn't as time goes by what happened was i tried to take my cover out god did my cover was holding my phone together so whenever i took the corner out the crack would just spread and i'm like yo and the, this is the crack of the original screen it would just spread so yeah i was if you see k if you see ked that's how i was like i literally was like damn now it's time to fix my phone so bet i go to rent i try to finish that like oh you know it's shop us over here what this is what happened to my phone one two three one two three hey dog my rents don't buy it they're like ah go ahead you delete for the phone hand i really came i really came plus you know how you guys you know how expensive it is to fix your phone <laughs> to fix the screen the original screen that's the thing it's the original screen of my iphone that's the issue if it wasn't the original screen it was gonna be fine i thought my parents are like i really came so me i told my mom the truth because i'm thinking ah my mom's gonna zoom on me and she's gonna be like oh i'm so sorry because she knows her well she doesn't know her but she knows of her because i used to tell my mom about it so she'll zoom on me and then pay mm. my mom was like yeah i give you guys think you you smart now seeing a bona bona you guys will sort that shit out not getting involved actually if you don't want to sort it out i'll talk to her mom and you know her mom will sort it out and i'm like mm. girl you trying to talk to her mom you trying to talk to her mom because i know that tibinki has a very weird relationship with her friends bro she don't trust those people she don't trust the people at all she's scared of them she bro i knew the minute she said mom i'm like yo tibinki is gonna be so much shit like i think her rents are like super strict so mm -mm. i was like mm -mm. i'm like no mama i'm just gonna tell her and then you know everything's gonna be sorted blah, 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 blah. so now i tell tibinki but like bro this is the situation 
and you know i need your help because you're the one that broke my phone and my parents are not having it and i told my mom the truth and then she's like she starts acting weird like oh okay and i even tell her i'll pay half i don't have to pay half because i didn't break my phone she starts acting weird you know, like, oh, with the phone thing, that, like, oh, my gosh, ugh, okay, you know what, it's fine, I'll just pay, I'll just pay. She's being snacks about it, like, she's, she's not the one that broke my phone. Mm. So now I'm getting annoyed, because it's like, first of all, you're not communicating with me, and you're being snacks. So, like, I'm not even going to pay her for you anymore, because we're not friends like that anymore. And, you know what she was doing? She was going to her friends, and, like, not even just her friends. Yeah. She was going to her friends, and she was going to paper and you see the same thing that she was like i shouldn't tell the girls she was going fa 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 right she's doing that she's doing that so mind you i don't even know that these people know at this point or that they have any idea or whatever she's going there saying oh i'm stressing her because i need the money how did i not be able to come with my parents blah 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 and i'm like first of all what do you mean how did i not be able to come to my parents you knew there was a risk what are you saying what are you saying my neighbor what are you saying okay cool she starts doing all that she starts acting funny like oh, i'll send you your money blah 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 like you don't need to stress me out or whatever cool so i'm like are you gonna tell your mom no you know i can't tell my mom so she lies to her mom she tells her mother that she was walking with me to go fetch dinner or lunch and then she dropped my phone and then yeah she lies to her mom mind you my mom knows the truth if it ever gets to a situation where my mom get involved it's child fault because she lies to her mom cool and i told the dog just tell your mom the truth because i'm also i'm also getting shot today i'm being treated like i'm in grade five so rather we both get treated like in grade five and we move on because now it's not gonna balance out cool she lies to her mom her mom believes the lie and then she goes as far as getting somebody in the race a person who's an hc or was an hc i don't know if she's still an hc and a former hc or she was a current hc at the time there were no new hcs yet she gets an AC and AC is somebody who's in the house committee to pretend to be my mom and commit no not and communicate what the fuck am I saying and communicate with her mom and basically lie to her mom and so that they can get the mom to give them money right so she gets the AC to pretend to be my mind you she doesn't tell me all these things she only tells me these things after when she goes really you know so she I don't even know that the AC is even involved. I'm like, why is the AC even agreeing to this? Because if shit goes south, you know, you're going to be in trouble because why are you following yourself in these things? Cool. They do that with the AC, dog. They're just causing more drama. In So now she's like, oh, I'll pay the other half, whatever. Like, because at first she wanted to pay in installments. And she wanted, and I only got one ultimatum from my mom, which was that when Lisa's comes, my phone better be fixed. When I come home, you know, the phone must be fine. Hi, I'm Jayla Majority. Hey, this is his coming with the what mark one. No, you putting pressure on me. Blah 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 blah. And then she goes ghost. She goes ghost. And mind you, she she wasn't even communicating to begin with. I was always the one asking her questions. She wasn't communicating, she wasn't giving me updates, she wasn't sending POPs. She's been saying that the money's gonna reflect for days now. I'm like, send a POP because if the money's gonna reflect, that means you have a proof of payment that you can send so that I can send it to my mom to give my mom off my back. Yo, yo, Tivinki. Tivinki goes through all these things. She lies to her mom. I don't know if she lied to her mom again. I, I really don't know if she lied to her mom again to get the other half because then there was this document that I'm gonna add there that she sent to me and. She was like, no, I just want to disassociate myself from you. Because, like, at this point, I just feel like... And I'm like... Okay. You did break my phone, so... What are you so upset about? Because if I broke somebody's phone, and if that was my friend, I would have even said from the beginning, bro, like, let me help you fix this. Because I know how expensive it is to fix. I wouldn't expect my friend to just sort that out themselves. So yeah, she's like, I just need to disassociate myself from you because, uh, you know, she's being like that. And I'm like, uh-uh, girl, you know how many friends I have? You think I'm on a uh, Please, man. Please sit down. Sit down. I'm like, okay, if you want to disassociate yourself, fine. You can go ahead and do that. I do not give a fuck, my brother. I don't care. But pay the money and we don't have to talk ever again. Then she says that document. that says that all communication must be cut and i'm like but we have the same friends what are you saying what are you saying because the other girls that live here 
are also my friends that are also your friends that we're all friends together before this happens so what are you saying man? what are you saying like are you trying to make things awkward are you trying to make things awkward so like she does that and she's like oh we need your email we need your email address my parents need your email address my parents blah blah, blah. and i'm like oh all of a sudden your parents are trying to get involved when you know you lied to them i'm like mm -mm. oh and did i mention that she threatened to your daughter's so fun she's like my sister's a lawyer blah 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 i'm like your sister's a lawyer congratulations to your sister that's a lawyer you're gonna get no more because if we were to flex job titles in the family i don't even have that one in the bag it's it's a w already let's go you know so she's like oh my sister's lawyer thinking that i'm gonna be scared and i'm like hey if your sister's a lawyer then where, where do i gain up because you know she, she's trying to use the video bro she's like and it's a poppy act like why would you do that blah 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 and i'm like you even say because the next day she was like no it's fine we always take videos of each other blah. so she was being so petty she was trying to find every excuse to be able to not pay for my phone that she broke and yeah ever since we're just not friends we're not friends anymore she sent that document that says we're not allowed to talk and i'm just like if this was a formal legal document it would have signatures it would have names it would have firm things bro like i'm not that like come on come on now come on now really really like if this was a formal like what are you saying who are you trying to scare dog do you know that do you not know that i'm the daughter of the most high hmm? i know these things i know all these things like the back of my head i see them every day like so she says that and she thinks it's gonna scare me i'm just like Ugh, whatever girl like stay in your lane i'm gonna stay in my lane but this that's what happened this fake synthetic fugly she's not fugly she's cute when she has makeup on when she doesn't have makeup on she doesn't look that cute but yeah this girl tibinki is so fake that she she's so fake and yeah she's just speaking she's just doing too much and yeah but now i'm just like i don't need you i don't need you i don't need her and yeah i just wanted to do the story time because everybody that i tell the story dies so like they they just they just always laugh they're like oh my gosh what's this girl doing because when i told them that she threatened like i told my cousin um like i told my cousin yamo and i told my best friend Handa, i'm like you guys like this girl telling your sister's lawyer she's trying to get to me and then they were just laughing because like at this point do you do you not know do you not know that i'm the total of the most high who are you threatening because even the threats will get you in trouble like it was just so like a Downed like by the whole drama, so I just thought maybe I should tell you guys, and it's gonna be funny to remember. But yeah, so first year friendships that didn't make it to the end of the year, spread the friendships that didn't cross the line, just ended, just vanished. It was it was fun though. Like Tivinki, if you're watching this, I don't even know if you watch or why you'd watch, but if you are or if any of your friends are watching this. It was fun while it lasted. Like you weren't bad. Like she was cute. She was cute. She wasn't bad. She was cute. And she just got ugly. And I feel like that's her true colors. Because in varsity, you never know with people. You literally, you never know with people in varsity. You only have to believe what they tell you. So someone could be lying, saying, "Oh, I do this. I do that." Or I come from this. Or I come from that. Or I'm this smart. Or I'm this um rich. Or whatever. And you don't know because you don't know these people. So I just feel like the whole time you're pretending, like she was pretending to be the sweet reserved thingy, and then her true colors came out when there was pressure and there was a fire under her ass. But yeah, I'm just glad her true colors came out now because wow, imagine me. Imagine me being associated to such. Ew. Ew. But, anyways, guys, that's the story time. That's the end of the story time. Yeah, right now, Tim and I don't talk. We do not talk, not even a head old. How are you? Because that's what she she said she wants, and I do. I could not care less, to be honest. Like, I'm just focused on me. <laughs> I'm literally that main character vibe. I literally, I could not care less. Hey, like you went through all that drama for what? For what? Because I wasn't even trying to help you, but like, okay, if that's what you want. Hey, dog, me, I see things like this every day, so it's like, okay, girl. I'm be better up. Go get your get get yourself sorted out. But I'm I'm good. But yeah, um, watch out for snakes. Watch out for cause they come in braces and smiles, looking like you know 
looking all sweet or whatever looking all sweet or innocent just so they can bite you at a later stage but yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like the video subscribe to your girl's channel and follow me on all social media platforms guys if you guys like the story time and you want me to do more story time i'm just gonna keep the story times long i feel because this is one this is gonna be a very it is a long video so if you're cool with that just let me know in the comment box below and i will see you guys in the next